Yes, England keep the ashes, but from the moment that Skipper May won a vital toss and Richardson and Cowdery laid the foundation of victory with a brilliant century stand, let's recapture the highlights of that epic Old Trafford test. Leading the great amateur revival, Richardson reaches his first test century. The welcome return to big cricket of David Shepherd brought another great century. Then, facing England's second biggest total against them since the war, 459, the Australians collapsed, all out 84. Spinning them out, Jim Laker bowled Johnson to take nine wickets, a test record that didn't last long. Following on, 375 runs behind, the Aussies were in real trouble, but they found a useful ally in that old Trafford weather. After all, the last England-Australia test to be finished there was in 1905, but fortunately, it stopped raining long enough for Jim Laker to become a cricket immortal. Here's all 10 wickets in the second innings and 19 for the match are all-time records. So England won by an innings and 170 runs. The Ashes stay at home.